Remember, summarize spoken text is in your listening, but it gives you mark for writing too. And it's actually contribute more mark for your writing compared to essay. Okay. So you need to do well in your exam if you aim for 65 or 79 plus. Summarize spoken text. Remember, it's in the section one of your listening. Okay. And in listening, you have two sections. In your PTA, you have two summary. One is summarize spoken text and the other one is summarize written text, okay? What is the difference? So, for this one, why is called summarize spoken text? Because you need to listen to the audio and after you listen to the audio, you have to write a summary. So that is why it gives you more for listening and writing. Okay. Now the other one called summarize written type. What does it mean? You need to read the paragraph. Okay. You need to read the paragraph. And after that, you need to write a summary. So that's why it gives you more for reading and writing. For PJ, it's very clear. The name of the topic tell you what you need to do, okay? Right, how many questions? Minimum two, maximum three, the same, okay? Minimum two, maximum three. What's the time? 10 minutes for one summary, okay? And remember, you cannot carry the time forward, all right? In terms of the word limit, this is something I want you to be careful because lots of students make mistake. You guys always mix up. Summarize spoken text, minimum 50, maximum 70. Summarize written text, minimum five, maximum 75. See that, okay. Don't mix up. Sometimes you can write SSD and you follow the word limit of SWT. Something I don't like at all. Um, make sure you remember this properly. Take a screenshot and see what is the same, what is the um, similarity and the differences between these two. Next one. Something you also need to remember. For summarize spoken text, SSD, you can use multiple full stop, okay? For SWT, you can only use one full stop, only one full stop, all right? Don't apply SWT to SSD. I see lots of students write the mock test like this. When you guys do the mock test, you do SWT, um, and SSD as the same. They are different, okay? These are the basic and simple thing. You should not make the mistake. That's all I ask. Right. How many marks? SSD give you 10 marks for one question and SWT give you seven marks for one question. So, which one is more important to your writing? This one. The more mark is give you for one question, the more mark is contribute for your writing. Okay. All right, next one. This is the screen appear in your exam. This is the audio. You will listen to the audio, okay? Now, why you are listening? What you have to do? You need to take notes. Okay, because this is a listening task. If you don't take notes, at the end you have no idea how to write your summary. So while you are listening, you need to take notes. And after you finish, you need to write your summary here. Okay, 
Now, control your words limit, remember. You see here? Make sure you don't go less than 50 or maximum 70 words. Remember that. Okay. Okay, next one. Before you write a summary similar with essay, why I need you to understand how the computer mark. Here are the marking criteria. Content, again, content is always the main idea and the topic of the audio, okay? When you are listening, how can I find out the topic and the main idea of the audio? To know the topic, you need to pay attention on repeated words. Or we also call it the repeated information. How do you know the topic from the essay? Repeated words, isn't it? Remember? Okay. So this is the technique you need to know to find out the topic when you are listening. Okay. All right. So that's the, the first thing you need to remember to find out a topic and the main idea. I will show you more about later. Remember that if you end up with zero, okay, for the content, you end up with zero for the whole summary. Okay, remember, ending with zero for the whole summary, if your summary is off track. Next one, form. Minimum 50, maximum 70, and I mean it. Don't write down 49, 48, right? And then 71, 72. Remember, every single word you get right extra or less, you lose mark for your form. Okay, that's all. So make sure you don't make this mistake. Grammar. For grammar, I will show you how to uh, write grammar um, in the way that don't make too many mistakes for grammar, okay? So the structure also help you a bit for the grammar too. Um, spelling, this one is about you. There is no auto spelling check or grammar check. You need to check your spelling because if you don't check your spelling, you lose mark for it. Okay. So that is something we need to be careful in terms of spelling and grammar. Don't make mistake. Vocab. Vocab is depend on your content. It depends on your content. If you have mark for content, you have mark for vocab. That's how it is in your exam. And that's the reason why, how do I know um, your performance in the exam? How? Again, look at your score report. Where is it? Hmm. Not this one. Let me see if I have this. Okay. So for example, if you look at the report, right? And you can be able to see it. Vocab, spelling, grammar, all right? Look at the writing, okay? Look at the listening. This one did not do well for SSD, okay? This one may do well in terms of the um, all the topic, but not for SSD, okay? Vocab is not good enough. Spelling also not good and grammar is also not good. So writing is low. All right. So these are the things for me to understand 
how you perform in your exam. All right. Okay. So if you aim for 79 plus, what is the target score? 10 mark for one summarized spoken text. Make sure you get at least eight out of 10. In terms of the vocab, remember, why I say vocab impact by your content. Why I say vocab impact by your content. Whatever you listen, you need to keep exactly the same words as you listen here. Okay. You need to keep exactly the same words as you listen. Don't use synonym. Don't use synonym. Okay. That's going to kill your um, listening score. Okay. Right, next one. So can you write down this one for me or take a screenshot of it? Because this is the techniques for you when you are listening, what do you need to pay attention? First of all, find out the topic, how? Repeated information. Repeated keywords, okay? You need to pay attention on the emphasis when the speaker are speaking. So, for example, you listen, you are listening to something the speaker say, but all of a sudden the speaker put the stress on the word. You need to know that this is the keyword. Okay. So that's how you can be able to tell when you are listening. The next one is supported by example. What does it mean? So, when you are listening, do you need to write down the example? No. You don't have to write down example, but you need to pay attention on example because before the example is the main idea. Just simple. Why I ask you guys to give example in essay? to support for your idea, isn't it? So exactly the same when you are listening. You pay attention on example. You don't take the example. You take the information before the example, okay? Next one, connector. Furthermore, moreover, however, as a result, in addition, Therefore, okay, so these are called the scores marker. Why? I need to pay attention when I'm listening. As simple, I already tell you. Tell me, why you give more rover in the middle of two sentences? Why you use more rover in the middle of two sentences when you are writing? To give additional information. Correct. So in this case, when you are listening, the speaker say more rover, you need to take the information before and after. Okay? Because they are related to each other and they are important. If I don't use more rover, but I use however, that means these two ideas, they are contrasting, okay? So these are the techniques you need to remember when you are listening, okay? All right, remember this, zero in the content, zero in the whole summary. And for those aim for 79, you don't need a structure to follow, okay? But you can do this one. Just write down or take a screenshot. I'll show you how we use it. You can follow this one, it's very basic. Okay, the first one, the first sentence is a topic. Why? 
Again, you write a summary. Remember this. A summary, it needs to start with introduction, the first sentence. And then you're going to mention about the ID one, ID two, and the last sentence going to be conclusion. Okay. So exactly the same as essay. You start with introduction and you're ending with a conclusion. Okay. So you need to find out what is the topic. That's what I want you to do first. Okay. Second, comma, and it illustrates how or that is up to you is option is optional okay now you need to put the main idea one and next one furthermore main idea two however moreover whatever my main idea three and last sentence gonna be either main idea four or can be conclusion okay so in terms of the idea why i put subject verb and object because I want you to keep the sentence simple. Remember this. I don't want you guys to write a complicated sentence. So let's say, um, so let's say you write out this. The garden is clean and green. And full of flowers, but the but the visitor they did not. But the visitor they the flower from the gun. Okay, I don't want you. Um, I don't want you guys to write the sentence like this. Okay, it's so messy, and it doesn't stray to the main point. Rather than you have to keep your sentence simple. For example, I will write down: the garden is clean, green, and full of flower. Okay, what I do next? I can write down full stop. However. The visitor blocked the flower from the garden. Do you get me? Make your sentence short and simple. Don't write down a long sentence like this. The longer of the sentence, the more mistake you make for grammar. And I have observed a lot from the mock test that you did, um, that the other student did um, in the other day. Okay always keep your sentence simple okay